The 2015 Stockholm Junior Water Prize was announced as part of the Silver Jubilee World Water Week in Stockholm. 29 winning teams from national contests from throughout the world gathered in Stockholm in the hopes of winning the finals. This is the 19th year that we are happy to celebrate the spirit of young creativity. The quality of your work is outstanding. It's an honor and a privilege for me to join you once again to celebrate the Stockholm Junior Water Prize competition. Her Royal Highness Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden presented the prize. The winner is the United States of America. It's just simply incredible. You know, I'm, I'm so happy right now. I'm just really, really glad to be part of the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. It's an incredible experience and I won't ever forget it. The winning project has developed a high-tech method to remove toxic heavy metal from drinking water and wastewater. A lot of effort, a lot of high-tech skills in the lab, a relevant problem with the heavy metals in water, and his uh, communication skills were really, really good when we interviewed him, so uh, definitely a worthy winner. The first time I really you know, got to learn about water purification and the challenges is when I went to India and there I saw the problems with heavy metal contamination. So those are metals that come into the environment from a variety of sources, primarily electronics, you know, when we dispose of computers and technology and batteries, all those metals get into water supplies. So I started with the nanotube and then I started building components upon it and then eventually developed the filter after a quite a bit of experimentation. <laughs> I plan for it to be an open source technology, so I plan to publish it. Uh, I'm working on that right now in a journal. So that way, you know, people can readily use this technology and then build upon it. And then in the meantime, I too, you know, plan to try to take it to some sort of setting, like a pilot plant, to try to scale it up and see if it's viable then. <laughs>